Welcome everyone. My name is Elaine Enriquez and we are here so excited with our very first program, Sharing Your Vision. I am so excited. It's a new year. We have wonderful, wonderful things to share with you in health. And with me today is a special guest, Dr. John Moore, and we're going to be talking about many, many things concerning your wellness. Welcome, Dr. John Moore. How are you? Fantastic. Thank you for having me, and I'm excited. This is your first English show, so yes, it I'm is. I'm very honored and uh, blessed to be here, so thank you. Thank you. He's been very patient with me. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> it's a new year. It's a wonderful time. People think about their well wellness and their health, and I wanted to share with you um, my own inquiries about when is a good opportunity to seek uh, a chiropractor? Great question. So um, there's a lot of maybe misconceptions out there that you have to have pain to go to a chiropractor or maybe even that you have to be have an injury or a car accident, but that's that's not the case. Really, everyone should get checked by a chiropractor, um, similar to going to a dentist for your teeth. You think about the spine is under more stress now than really ever. Um, if you go to, I mean, I was at Panera the other day and you can't walk in without seeing the entire line like this, wow. where the neck is under so much stress with electronics, um, children on iPads where their heads are down all day. So the body's posture and stress is, is under, a, a body's posture is under a lot of stress because of everything we do. And a lot of people don't even know, and this may be new to some, but chiropractic is good for babies. I mean, you can get checked as early as when you're born if you ever experienced, you know, obviously witnessed a birth, it's a lot of trauma for the, the baby's spine. So we can even do checkups as early as when someone's born. It's so important to think about that because really I'm talking about it personally. Uh, mm -hmm. Rarely do I think of a chiro chiropractor or the wellness of my structure. But now as I'm reaching other levels in age, I've noticed <laughs> how much I need one. And is it important to uh, look into this in the beginning, uh, as you said, as a child and then work your way through life? Uh, making sure that your structure is as healthy as your maybe your 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 body itself in general because everybody thinks of, of weight and yeah you were saying now that you're in your 30s now you have to really start looking at things right <laughs> well i won't mention my <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> but yes um like i say the structure is so important and um I know what chiropractic has done for myself and my family. Um, I've got three kids, um, a nine-year-old, six-year-old, and three-year-old, uh, Savannah, Noah, and Charlotte. So, Aww, um, nice. yeah, and I know how healthy my family is, and chiropractic is a huge part of that. Um, I personally have been in practice 15 years. I've missed one day of work for um, being oh. ill just because um, chiropractic isn't, like I said, it isn't about, about pain. It's about getting your structure good. But when it's good, that actually affects your nerve system. So I think that's kind of a missing component with chiropractic in the the world or the perception of it. Everyone thinks if I have pain, then the chiropractor would be there. But there's a, a large group of, you know, a large understanding that chiropractic is about the nerve system. So that's how your brain talks to your body. So for instance, um, if your spine is out of sorts or not, mechanically working right, it's kind of like a bad cell phone signal from your brain to your body. So when your nerve system works better, it affects the overall health and well-being of your immune system and your overall health, being, health and well-being of your body. So it gets you better in a much more like global uh, way. Now there's people out there that just walk. They, they're not concerned about how they should walk. They don't think about it. Even when they're sitting in a couch, mm -hmm. watching a television show, um, even playing sports. Of course. And now this year I'm incorporating actually a bit of boxing and my son was teaching me how to do it because I was just punching and my son <laughs> said, you're going to break your wrist. <laughs> and that's when you come in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good. Yeah, of course. <laughs> of course. Um, yeah, how we sit and how we move is, is vital for our overall health and well-being. And um, our society sits more than it ever has. Um, we get uh, all the time, but patients will ask us about, like, 
getting like a stand-up desk or something that's to get them out of the, the, the kind of the computer chair for, uh, per se. Um, they say sitting is to your spine like sugar is to your teeth. It's not, it's not something you want to do all the time. And that's, that's what we do. I mean, we kind of were more designed to be more like that up moving hunter gather type of um, structure, but now we're kind of an electronics computer structure. I know. It's so, and then in boxing, world. if you, you know, if you don't have good mechanics, you know, that could cause some problems. And um, actually one of our busiest months for new patients is January because everyone kind of went from sedentary Christmas time to all of a sudden they like, boom, full throttle into the workouts and maybe the body isn't quite ready for that. Yes. And, um, and boxers, I've had some come through that were professionally before and it's a lot on the neck because that impact has to go all the way up and um, people absorb a lot into their neck. So a checkup would be really, really important in that situation. So going to the chiropractor is as important as going to getting your annual checkup to make sure that your body is correctly um, developing through the mm -hmm. years, making sure that you don't run into problems later on with your back. Back is a very yeah. common uh, situation for many people. Why do we get there if we didn't have back issues before? Is it because we don't take care of ourselves or we don't really watch it, our posture or maybe the way we conduct our lives on a daily basis? What would you recommend? What would you say about that? Um, yes, a checkup is, is very important. Um, a lot of spinal problems can be silent as far as um, they haven't surfaced yet as a symptom. So just like someone can have a clogged artery and they don't feel anything, and but you don't want to wait until you drop of a heart attack, the same thing, a spinal problem, when the mechanics aren't working right in a spine, it will cause a breakdown and it progresses through phases. And a lot of times it progresses through those phases and you don't even feel it. So you don't want to go in when it's already progressed to the point of um, being you know, pretty advanced. So the earlier detection, like anything, the better. So um, we tell people just come in for a checkup, super easy. And in cases that you've been exposed to through the years, and we're going to talk about uh, your history, mm -hmm. um, a lot of the achievements uh, that you have uh, obtained, uh, not only uh, medically, but also you help the community. There's so many things, but I want to start off there. Um, when people go through situations, uh, and they go visit you what is the one that most you see in your office uh, with your patients so kind of the most common thing that yeah. walks in the door yes oh good question um <laughs> i would say the most common thing we see right now is two things lower back pain is a big thing um right around the waistline so we see that a lot um sometimes that pain will actually like progress down the leg or other situations um and then we get a lot of people with with pain on this like right shoulder blade up into the neck and even causing like a headache so we get that a lot and a, and a reason for for that second one is um people sitting at a mouse like this all day long oh, wow. so that shoulders kind of out like this in that kind of tight position and the head forward so that's a, a big issue we see in a lot of people. And then a lot of people actually, um, our office is very good at education and getting people to understand the importance of that checkup we talked about. So we have a lot of people come in our office that are friends or family members that come in just for a checkup. They don't have symptoms. So I'd say those two, those three things. You know, let's go back to you personally okay. and your, achieve, your medical achievements because I like everyone to get to know you okay. uh, not only by giving wonderful advices and we're going to talk a little bit further in uh, the program as how to maintain good health and awareness so you don't run into back pain or certain things mm -hmm. that are very common in your office that you probably see uh, maybe every month or maybe every week, uh, depending on the patients that come to see you. But let's talk about you and okay. and um, your love for this, um, for being a chiropractor uh, and choosing this profession in particular. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I guess I, I don't know if it, I chose it, it chose me, whatever, uh, you know, or, or God chose it for me. How, however, I'm, I'm assuming that was probably the case. Um, I absolutely love it. I love it. I mean, I was born for it. I love it. I, I mean, I do it on a daily basis and I just, 
Um, there's days where I work 12 hours and I feel like I could go another 12 because wow. it, it's it's really not about me. It's about helping people. So um, I love it. I mean, any profession where you could help someone naturally get better and see people that crawl in and walk out um, is, is an awesome, awesome feeling. Um, so I guess how I got into it was um, I grew up in Ohio. So, and I know you have a big... Uh, Spanish speaking audience so yes. I didn't speak a lot of Spanish in Ohio but I'm learning <laughs> as I've moved to South Florida and I'm um, getting better at it okay. and um, we won't have you speak Spanish on this show yeah the girls in the office <laughs> said I would embarrass them if I did so I'm not gonna get there yeah but I'm learning every day okay, I'm learning great. getting better and better so you're gonna come back on the other Spanish show <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna need a drink of water or something <laughs> no but I am I am getting better at it but um but yes yeah, so I, I I knew I wanted to help people and I had went to a chiropractor when I was in college, and I just kind of thought, "Wow, this, I don't know, this this could be it." So, wow, and it has great. been ever since. And we have a very, very, um, we have an amazing practice. Um, we have one in Weston, then we have one, and we just opened in Green Acres, Lake Worth area in August. So wonderful! Yeah, that's great. So we're excited to ex be expanding. When I read a little bit about your history, I was amazed. I said, "Wow, what a wonderful uh, life!" Um, living, helping people, and how much you have achieved. And I know that uh, you have a very beautiful wife. I saw your picture. We're yes. going to put it um, on our website so everybody yeah. gets to know your whole family. She's also a doctor. She is, yes. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, That's wonderful. yeah. She's, she's, she's fantastic. But it's so nice. It's so nice to have the family mm -hmm. involved. But so much that you love to help others even beyond your practice, even beyond everything that you've uh, put together, constructed as a family, uh, helping in the medical field, but you also contribute uh, to uh, foundations and, and you just go outside and just continue to help people. And that's so wonderful. That's a, that's a wonderful uh, heart that your family has uh, towards the community. Uh, and, and, and I just want you to talk about it and share it with us. Thank you for asking that. Um, yes. Um, yes, yeah, so as you said, my wife, Danielle, she's a chiropractor and she's the uh, um, kind of brains of our operation. She does, uh, she, she does amazing work that um, uh, keeps the whole office working at a very, very high level. And then um, we have three kids like I talked about. And we do try to incorporate the whole fam our whole family and our chiropractic family of all the people that work with us to be able to help more people. Um, we're very, 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 very big on like philanthropic help in the community. Um, I feel like um, I've had a great mentor who's taught me this where we use our business as a vehicle to help our community. So for instance, um, when you were talking about this, I had a, a thought where I got called in the jury duty. So um, obviously as a type A one, I hard, uh, work ethic type person. I didn't really want to go to jury duty. So, but I had to. So I went to jury duty um, and I didn't get, I got called, but I, I don't have to serve as jury duty because of um, a physician's exemption. But when they're walking me out, there was a bailiff there. And this is such a um, God moment. His name is Roger. And he's walking me out and he's like, I just wanted to share with you about what I'm doing. And he was walking from Fort Lauderdale to Washington DC to raise awareness for trafficking because in the courtroom he was seeing it all the time and the uh, kind of that dark side of it and he wanted to do something. So he just saved up all his vacation days and all his time and it took him I think like 40 something days to walk wow. from Fort Lauderdale to Washington DC. So I thought, okay, I was put here for this. Mm -hmm. So we were able to, um, I think before he left, write him a check for his walk, um, which if I didn't have a successful practice that God had given me, I wouldn't be able to do that. And then um, everyone in our office was excited about it. So our, our, the people that are on our team in our office, they're not just there to um, check people in and mm -hmm. enter their data. They're there for a bigger purpose too, which is, um, I would say, I have the best team in the world. Like, they're fantastic. Mm -hmm. And then my children got involved where they set up a lemonade stand, like, right out front for him. 
So they, I think, I don't even know how many hundreds of dollars they raised for them too. Wow, so that's yeah, so to be able to incorporate your family into it is uh, was super special. So yeah, we were able to call him while he's on his walk and kind of share him with him. And then my oldest daughter Savannah was like, "Can I do it again tomorrow?" I was like, "Oh." Uh, <laughs> so it was nice. So she had the, she had kind of the bug for helping people. So I'm uh, very blessed to be able to use my practice as a vehicle to do more. So this past year, I think we did about at least 20 different groups we've given to. Wow, um, financially, wonderful. yeah, yeah, and um, I mean, it ranges. Uh, Prestige Club is a group that we're um, an angel investor for, they do a lot for children in the community in Fort Lauderdale. Um, in our office in Lake Worth, that we just started up, we just gave to a Oasis of Hope, um, which is a food bank where people that don't have money for food. Wow. So, we've been giving them um, $20 for each new patient that comes in from a community event. Um, we've been giving to them, so they've been able to help with that. We just bought them some computers. And um, veterans groups, we've helped with veterans groups. I mean, there's so many different things we've been able to do through the practice. So, wow, that's uh, wonderful. I'm very that's thankful wonderful for that. Yeah, that. thank you. Thank and, you. And I see that God is in your life in a very special way because of the way you express yourself and how everything has a purpose. And it's so important to share with our audience that um, we live uh, with a purpose. And God mm -hmm. shows us every single day. He picked you to be a doctor to help uh, scientifically, but mm -hmm. more so also spiritually because you're a vessel. And it's so important because I see a, a family uh, that shares the goodness and, and, the, and the blessings that you receive. You share it with your community. You share it with your office and the people that work with you. They're just not workers. They're more than workers. They become mm -hmm. family. And that's so important. And this is how we uh, work here as well. We are family. Yeah, we, and, yeah and, I see that. Yeah, we, yeah, and we talk to our audiences because we are family and we want to be able to bring them uh, things that they can use as tools to make their life better and more so uh, when God is present. Yeah, absolutely. Well, congratulations. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. We are uh, <laughs> we're learning through the process too, of course. Yes. Yeah. And it's wonderful because I'm also involved in stopping human trafficking there you go. with yeah. uh, many other um, uh, either schools or entities that have uh, been uh, front stage to be able to have that ability uh, to do something about it and work with the schools and the students and bring awareness. So congratulations on all that. Thank you, we, we thank share, you. We uh, share yeah, similarities um, in that aspect. And so I talked to Roger, I didn't really realize how prevalent it, or how this area per se, Broward, yeah. was I think number two county in the country. Yeah. So um, I never would have even crossed my mind. So oh, um, him doing his job helped me help out. So Well, let's yeah. continue to help our audience <laughs> yes yes I'm sure they have a lot of questions uh, yeah um, and you know um, one of the reasons I like to share this is as there's a lot of small business people maybe even people that be listening would be listening that if maybe that inspires them to do a little more or to help out um, yes. to make things better for everybody it just feels amazing when you give yes more than when you receive and Correct. God blesses us because we're so concerned about our fellow man and that we don't need to be concerned about us because he takes care of us. Yes. Uh, so we are able to give and help others. And one way we're going to continue to do it is through advice on how to take care of our body and uh, the importance of also having a physical mm -hmm. with our chiropractor. <laughs> Absolutely. And Absolutely. Yeah, the medical profession and chiropractic work very good together. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's good to have kind of a team where you have a dentist, your medical professional, yes. and your chiropractor on, on your team, um, along with anyone else you would need. Obviously like an optometrist or whoever else is, um, that person <laughs> may need. Um, so yeah, chiropractic is one of those things that I hope that I can, uh, maybe by sitting here with you, I can help some more people out. Oh, most definitely. Mm -hmm. You're helping me. <laughs> <laughs> definitely. Is there vitamins that people should uh, take in their lifetime uh, to help the bone uh, become stronger? Because as we age, mm -hmm. obviously everything uh, makes uh, changes. Uh, we, we change, I think, every seven years. Our body changes. 
Um, should we take medication, um, not medication, obviously, vitamins? Yeah, great question. Um, it really depends on the individual. Everyone's a little bit different. Um, I would say from, you know, my, I mean, I have a lot of knowledge in nutrition and supplements, but I would say um, to kind of give like a broad, I mean, there's things like fish oil that are obviously good for pretty much everybody. Um, but to kind of give a broad that like everyone take this, this, and this, is it's, it's hard to do that. Um, I would say with chiropractic, what I can give is that when your structure is strong and your nervous system is working at a higher level, the body will be healthier long term and will break down less. Um, with chiropractic, it follows along with what's called like an, an innate way of living. So our bodies have this amazing healing capacity you know, that God gave us. Like if we cut your arm, it, it knows how to heal and repair itself. The more you can live in on like what's called an innate lifestyle, like for instance, broccoli is better for you than Diet Coke. Like broccoli is innate God-based food that was put here. A Diet Coke has aspartame and chemicals that were made by a man mm -hmm. that aren't kind of congruent with what your body needs. Does that make sense? Yes. So definitely. the more things you can do with what your body is congruent with what your body needs, the better it's going to be. So, you know, eating more natural foods, drinking a lot of water, um, not being too emotionally stressed, um, having good al structural alignment, all of those things are innately congruent with what your body needs. So the more we can do that and the less we can do of the things that are bad for us, you start moving in a healthier direction. I hope I'm sitting properly. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm kind of conscious of it too. I'm like, I'm going to be on camera. Me. I got to sit up tall the whole time. <laughs> that uh, made me a little nervous. <laughs> You're doing great. <laughs> now, is there a difference between men and women? <laughs> that's, that's a whole other show, I think. <laughs> okay. Then you're going to have to come no. back. You're going to have to come back. Yes. Um, um, women are definitely much much more intelligent than men, than what I found. <laughs> <laughs> men aren't as good of listeners and all that stuff. But um, as far as structurally based uh, <laughs> and health-wise, um, what we find that um, due to the way females are typically more slender, they're typically going to have more of a like forward head position so okay. do that and that puts more stress here from what we've seen um men typically um especially in the united states sometimes have a bigger belly sometimes that can pull on the lower back a little more that can sometimes be some of the common things we'd see with a man but in general as far as spines the spines are all kind of designed the same it's just a matter of um, taking care of it okay we're going to need you to come back <laughs> I would love to. <laughs> that would be to. great. Yeah, it's fun. Uh, because there's just so much, and we just can't cover it in one program. So I'm Correct. excited to have you back real soon. Uh, we're going to talk about that behind cameras. Okay. But one last advice yes. uh, that you can give our audience before we go into you letting us know how we can get in touch with you. Okay. And uh, what information can you share with us? Uh, so people can either go to your website or sure. maybe call your office. Okay. So one last advice. Um, great question. Um, I would just say to get a checkup by a good chiropractor. Um, the importance of it is more than people realize. So don't wait until you are getting a pain to get a checkup. Just like you don't want to wait till you're super dehydrated to drink a glass of water. So get checked out as early as possible, um, especially with the electronics nowadays. I mean, the iPads, the phones, I mean, they're really detrimental to our posture. Um, so an early checkup by a good chiropractor, one that is going to check your structure is more adjustment based than more um, therapy based would be um, my best advice for that. Great. If that makes sense. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Tell us where we can get in touch with you in your office. Um, our office is Live Well Chiropractic. We have one in Weston on Griffin Weston Road. And then we just opened one in Lake Worth on Lake Worth Road. And you can follow us on our, our website is livewellsouthflorida.com. Um, we're on Facebook. We're on Instagram. I just personally got on Instagram like last week. My wife was telling me I need to do it. My name is uh, Dr. John 316 on Instagram. And... Whatever you need, we're here. Please feel free to reach out to us. That's great. You're yeah. a chiropractor. You're also with us here in OVM Radio, OVM TV. And we'll be sharing more information in case uh, you want to know more. Um, and I'm really excited. I'm so happy. This has been a wonderful first English-speaking 
program, Sharing Your Vision. I'm so excited. Thank you for Thank allowing you, us Elaine. to have such a great time and um, giving our audience uh, a great advice now that we start this new year to start right. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you. And thank you. And we'll see you real soon.